funk yourself. As adorable Funko figures. On Thwip, the, the Big, Big Marvel, Marvel Show! Show! Beep, 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 beep. I'm Ryan. And today we're getting a lesson in funking ourselves. I think there might be a better way to say that. Why? <sighs> Never mind. This episode is brought to you by Funko and we visited Funko HQ in Everett, Washington to get the inside scoop on how to create our own custom Funko Pop vinyls. So today we can funk ourselves in front of all of you. <laughs> I want to say no, but you know what? Yeah. 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 We have our blank pops here to do our darnest to make them look like us. So take a look at how you can learn how to funk yourself too. Marine, more. Just relax. All of it. Relax into it. Hey Marvelites, we're at the Pop Factory at Funko HQ with our friend Ben, who's VP of Creative, and we want to make some some cool pops. So how how does one come to the Funko HQ store mm -hmm. and and make a customized pop of themselves? Well. You are yeah, absolutely, absolutely in the build your own pop section and what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to get every kind of piece you want. So you're going to be able to get legs, arms, I like head, that. I like that. Big hair, fan. Big fan. all that kind of stuff and you're going to be able to make your own pop. You'll also be able to make monsters, robots, all kinds of different Go things. On. Depending on what your, your interest is, you can make anything and everything. What if you're a monster robot? You can do that too. Okay. Yeah, it's really amazing. Do you make like tails? Can I get a tail? You can absolutely get a tail. What kind of feet you got? We got hairy feet, might be appropriate. We have all kinds of different feet. Like gnarly toes and gnarly claws. Gnarly toes, absolutely. So we even have some facial hair, so I pushed for that. In a week. I don't know why the, I would have. But like a little... I don't know if we have the handlebar, but I don't know that we could match that. We'll work on it, though. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Let this serve as inspiration to right. everyone. This is yeah. going to be evolving, right? So right. We, it'll improve, and this will be an improvement Great. that we can make. I appreciate it. Yeah. So as we go into creating our own, we know that you're quite the artist. and We'd like a little help with what you think our pops would look like. Sure. All right. I can kind of help you guys with that. Okay. So, so uh, I guess when we're starting to figure out pops, we look for key features. So we talked about your beautiful handlebar mustache. Beautiful. Right? Glasses, color of your hair, all these different things. That's what we would start with, especially if we're starting on the head. So, so obviously our pop has some classic features. We have the squared off head. We have the, the black eyes. So those are things that we try to maintain as much as we can. I would focus on the hair immediately because I think a, the, in a pop world, I think that could be really iconic. She's got that swoop. Have, yeah, I got that, that ginger swoop. swoop. I love the ginger swoop. This is a drink so, I had once. It was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. Really? And you remembered it, which is good. So. so that's how I would quickly rough in what. And I think in most cases, we don't have a mouth, but I think, I think a little little lipstick in this case would really help. If you don't have a ton of artistic talent, not to say that Ryan and I aren't really great. How dare you? <laughs> but we're not. Um, how, uh, are there any keys you think, just like keep it simple or what are the keys to the pop look? You know, yeah, I think keep, keep shape simple. I think um, don't try to over detail it. I think focus on the key features that make who it is you're making, whether it's you guys or someone famous. That's what I do. We just focus on simplifying. I think it's really easy sometimes for us to add too much stuff in there and after a while it starts to lose the essence of who you guys are. So I think that that's kind of where we would start. Hmm. That's how I would start with you. All right. Ryan. Ryan. This would be. Moment of truth. Yeah. See, the square head works out nice already. You know? Oh, look. That's nice. Pose? Yeah, if you can just hold that and don't, don't yeah, breathe or anything, that's good. Just duck face as hard as possible. Yeah, yeah look at that. Nice. We're going to get the hair. But obviously the key thing is gonna be the, the handlebars. <laughs> Are you like really lobbying for lips right now? We'll actually see his ears a little bit. That's good, all right. Don't move, yeah, that's good. I wanted to see how long this you could really hold coming this. really together. Yeah. Also don't blink or breathe. Yeah, that, yeah, it'll mess the whole thing up. We'll have to start over. Again, hopefully we'll get the essence of him here. Should I really put those lips in there just to be Looks like he's really lobbying for the lips. I think that really makes it now. <laughs> All right. So here's how we would lock him in. We that's even you. got the nice lip. Come on, that's perfect. So my wife says I have very kissable lips. So yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take her word for it. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. We'll yeah. leave it at that. Perfect. That's so awesome. I feel like we have some really good ideas yes. on how to start our own. But you guys also have a whole university for yes. learning about pops. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. So the Funko University was something we kind of came up with as the store was developing to 
give us an opportunity to kind of work with the community, work with kids in the community, work with adults, just anyone who wants to come down and kind of learn how we do things, whether it's sketching, we might have a, a digital sculptor come down, show some sculpting things, just really a chance for all these people to realize that there's so many different ways you can think creatively and come up with ideas. So it should be a lot of fun. Well, I think we're ready to make our own pops. And you guys, if you get to come down to Everett, Washington, check out Funko HQ where you can make your own pops and maybe learn something. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Yep. And here you have it, our perfect us's. I am me, reborn, a new pop. Can I just ask you a question? Go. Why is it blue? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> So anyways, you can visit Funko HQ to make your own custom pop at the Funko Pop Factory. Or you can pop yourself with our awesome avatar generator over at Funko.com. Yeah, that's right. Go pop yourself. <laughs> Close enough, Lauren. <laughs> and here's James with a new Thwippy Award. Yeah. This week, we recognize the most adorable of Marvel, and the Thwippy Award goes to... Uh, yes. The most adorable one of all, you know who it is. It is the Inhumans' 2,000 pound canine companion, Lockjaw. Yes, Lockjaw, this is for you. And hey, Lockjaw, just because you know, you're know CGI don't mean you can't transport me on vacation, right? Oh man, you just missed him. He teleported and got his award. <laughs> He's crafty, but I didn't get to go on vacation, but that's okay. Now that Inhuman slobber machine is killing the cuteness on Marvel's Inhumans now on IMAX, catch it there. And congrats a little big slobbering pupper of cuteness. And if you think someone or something deserves a Thwippy Award, nominate them by emailing thwip at marvel.com. Rock the vote. And now it's time for Social Hour where we take your tweets and your Yumtub comments when you hashtag Marvel Thwip. Yep. What does the internet say? Uh, first up, Bachelor Prince asked us, what is our favorite pop? Mmm, I'm going to go with Gladiator Hulk because it's just one of my favorite ones, although Hella is real cute too. She's hella cute. Nailed it. Crushed it. Uh, I would go with either the big Thanos pop because he's bigger than <gasps> yeah, everybody else. Yeah, he's dope. Or the new Lockjaw one because he's so cute. Oh, he is so cute. Yeah. Uh, Cameron Tierney on YouTube asks, is this, uh, is Funko HQ just for Marvel or do they have other things there too? Uh, they yeah. have other stuff. So they have a really great Marvel section, obviously, as you've seen. Mm -hmm. Plus they have Star Wars and Disney. And I got to take my picture with a Wampa and it was a attacking in the Hothland. <laughs> it was really cool. You guys should check it out because there's tons of stuff there. Yeah. You know what else they should check out? Our new show page on Facebook. Yeah. So we have a whole dedicated page for Thwip the Big Marvel Show where you guys can like and comment and watch all the videos. And if you are commenting on Facebook, we'll be checking those out too to pull you into Social Hour in the coming times. And that's how we're going to be best friends together. Yeah. You could see her official page on Facebook and then friend her. And then you can find Ryan and just follow him around. Yep. <laughs> you guys, tell us who um, did your favorite pop because everything is a competition. I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your blue. Thanks for watching Flip the Big Marvel Show. If you like this, please like this and subscribe to the Marvel channel. And watch the last episode right over there. And blue yourself. <laughs> you can blue yourself. You can funk yourself. Just you can just pop yourself one. All the time.